Today on the channel, Adventurous Ones, we're un... Well, they're already unboxed. We're reviewing the Target exclusive Masters of the Universe Rulers of the Sun 2 and 3 pack set number 2. Which consists of the final three members of the Rulers of the Sun heroes. Welcome to the toy review. It's time to get started. another unboxing and review my adventurous ones i am your host as always the adventurous one himself master of all multiverses joseph michaels the adventurous joe and i gotta tell you right now i am glad i never paid the th nearly 50 dollars for this set because lack of a mini comic to show what the like the other rulers of the sun had with them you know, when they were carded individually, it's no excuse, Mattel. You could have still done these and included a mini comic for the price you were asking for these three figures. Considering that these figures alone cost $20 a piece. Seriously, carded individually, they cost around $20 a piece. So. Here's how this breaks down. We've got Kick Toe, Expert Kickboxer, Holographo, Futuristic Scientist, and last but not least, Zapman, Micro Laser Specialist. In a way, it sounds like they phoned all these in. <laughs> Now, we're going to get things started right off the bat. I'm going to put these two aside. And get things started with kick toe. He comes with a miniature dagger-like knife. Arm bands. Or leg bands. Leg bands. These are his leg bands. With saw blades. Here's the one that's already on there. I was going to get this, these guys, two of two sets of them. One to open, one to keep new on the box because I never had these figures as a kid. And uh, as part of the Rulers of the Sun stuff that was out. Or kind of out. It's a long story. Now here he's got where you could place one of these in the middle I think it goes in there like that or something like that arm articulation is the same as any Motu Origins figure can go up about that far and to there back down to there wrist swivel Arm swivel. Turn his arm around like that. Turn his hand around. Like, see, the problem is you can't turn it with that, uh, like that. Elbow articulation go up so about that far. And down about that far. Leg articulation has it where he can kick back about that far. Put it back to normal. Foot articulation has the foot going that far back. And then normal again. So pretty much your typical Motu figure. He 
He's also got the waist swivel. Head can go the 360 all the way around. The usual goodie. He's got the flat top head sculpt, just like Sun Man does. His weapon is like a sword inside of a shield type thing. I've heard some people say that if you look at that head sculpt, he looks like a, an older version of those uh, fuzzy haired G.I. Joes they made back in the day. Once again, foot articulation can go back about that far. Then back up, like that. Leg articulation is pretty much the same. Can kick back about that far. Splits about that far. Elbow articulation is the same as the others. You can push up about yay far. Down. Arm articulation goes up about that far. Back like that. Down like that. And same deal as the others. Head articulation can go all the way around. Waist articulation is kind of limited because of the this being attached. And now we'll put his weapon in his hand. There we go. Holographo also has on his chest piece a holograph like reflector thing. Now, I'll put him here, where he belongs, and put 
this card there. And now for Zapman. Who has a helmet. And two wrist gauntlets, just like this. Much like the others, he's got the same articulations and stuff. Legs can spread about, spread about to there. Can kick back about that far. Ankle articulation can move back about that far. And there. Waist articulation is better on this one because he's been able to move. Elbow articulation goes up like that. Arm articulation goes around like that to there. All the way around again and down. Head articulation is the same as the others, except on this one, he can only go that way or that way. He might be able to do 360 if you're able to move him better, but he's got a ponytail on the back here which is preventing him from doing that. Now we're going to put his wrist gauntlets on. Ladies and gentlemen, the Rulers of the Sun Target Exclusive Set Number Two Three Pack. What do you think? Was this worth $49.99, or did we get the better deal thanks to our friend Todd? Um, thanks to our friend Todd G, picking it up for us and getting it for only $15 on clearance. Let's hear your thoughts down in the comment section down below. Would you also? Let's hear about the these things if they're charging $50 for this set of three figures and they're only including these cardboard insert things with the special with the names on them and everything in between it would you have also preferred a mini comic as well with this with these guys showing them in action and stuff let's hear your thoughts down in the comment section down below don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel leave your comments and hit that bell notification so you don't miss on anything we got going on in 2023, 2024. Excuse me. Lots more on the way, and you don't want to miss out on anything. So until the next unboxing, till the next review, peace out. May the force be with all of you. And every last one of y'all have a safe, lovely, and beautiful week out there. Take care of yourselves, your family, your friends, your pets, loved ones in general. Be smart out there. Get home safely to everybody. And God bless. And until the next time I see you all, it'll be later.